What's up guys, so here's another list of apps that you must have. All of these apps add a lot of features to your phone that will completely change the way you use it. So without any further delay, let's get on to the apps. And if you like this theme that I'm using here in my phone, do check out the link below to learn and know how to apply it. The first app here on this list is Super Widget. So Super Widget is a widget maker that allows you to create widgets. So for example, this one here in this home screen is created using Jupa widget and this widget consists of a horizontal line and a text representing the current day. But you do not need to create one. Why this app is great is because in Play Store, there are lots of templates that you can download and apply. And all of these template packs consist tons of widgets that you can have in your home screen. Widgets for calendar, music, day, time, weather, and a lot more. So for any type of home screen, you will definitely find a widget that suits it. And for all of the themes many designers use widgets from Zupa widget, you can see all of these themes here consist of widgets from this app. So definitely try this one, it will completely change the way your phone looks. The next one is Power Director. It's a great and powerful video editor for mobile phones. The interface is adapted from the desktop video editing apps. There are three different sections for video, audio and overlay like image and title. These can be stacked together for better video editing. This timeline is similar to what we get in desktop version with the drag and drop controls. On the side, there will be option to add media, overlays or effects to the videos. And for each video, you have many options. You can change speed, resize, rotate, and you also have color options to apply presets and change its saturation, contrast, and brightness. The overlay option here allows you to add more to the video. Overall, it's one of the best video editing apps that you can get for a mobile phone, and it's a great way for you to use the fast processor and unleash your creativity. The next one is Zoho Notebook. This notebook is great to store notes of different types like college notes that get bigger with time, checklist, normal random notes, and photo notes. The organization and gestures makes this one a must-have. So right when you open the app, you can create a notebook. In here is where you can do a lot of stuff. You can add a note which can be hand return, audio clip, photo note, or a normal note. Then you can group similar items and go through them with a simple gesture and for each individual node you can add different kinds of media into them you can add a voice clip you can add a drawing you can add a photo and no matter how large the notebook gets you will be easily able to organize them next app is cinema fv5 this app takes video recording to the next level by allowing you to do a lot more even though many cameras come with manual mode it does not work while recording video, but this app enables that for you. And along with manual video recording, you can change parameters while recording the video. There is also a live color histogram that can be viewed. And you can also have live audio monitoring if your earphones are plugged in. On top of that, you can have custom presets to record your video. You can specify the resolution, the format, codec, bitrate and also the frame red and then you also have options to change image parameters and color channels so overall this app gives you a lot more control over your video and it's up to you how you use them the next one here is flinx this one allows you to open external links in floating tabs without disturbing you from whatever you are doing so if in any app you encounter a link instead of opening it in another window taking you away from the app the link gets open in a bubble, which can be minimized and moved around. These bubbles are lightweight tabs and provide minimal view removing all the junk and just displaying the content that you need. So using this app you can enjoy whatever you are doing while the link is being loaded in the background. The next app here is Timely. It's a great app to replace the clock app that you have in your phone. Not saying that the clock app has any faults in it, but this one is so much better, visually and also in terms of features. 
The animation looks a lot better, they had 3 different tabs and all of them look sleek. And the alarms have something called smart rise, which will increase the volume gradually and wake you up from light sleep. Then you can add challenges that needs to be completed before the alarm goes off. And if you own multiple devices, which many people do, the alarm syncs in between. So you can choose if you want the alarm to ring in other devices. The next step here is Tasker, which will help you to automate things. Things like having your screen remain on when you are reading. Play music as soon as the headphones get plugged in. Silence when the phone is faced down. Turn private mode on when handing your phone over to someone else. Silent your phone when you arrive at work and turn it off when you leave. These are few of the endless automation possible through Tasker. Tasker has been out for a while and many have tried to copy it. But if you want to invest few minutes learning it, it will allow your phone to be able to do a lot more stuff. Basically you have a trigger action and a task that is executed when the action is triggered. So turning my phone down is the trigger action and silencing my phone is the task. Whenever I turn my phone face down, my phone is automatically silenced. And it's just the beginning, after playing with this app and learning how to use it, you will be able to automate many stuff and also solve a lot of problems that you currently have. Next up, we have Weather Forecast Timeline. It's a weather app with the best looking widgets and accurate weather data. The app shows current weather with tons of information, then it previews hourly information and daily information. You can see how well this app is designed. Datas are also represented in graph. But the main reason why you should choose this one are the widgets. You can see there are tons of options and for each one of them you can customize it in your own way. And with these options here you can change the widget to adapt it to any home screen theme. Next up is Double Twist Music Player. It's an all in one music player that has good design and is filled with features that many music players lack. So if you listen your music from local media, you will love this one. The UI is good, has smooth transitions. It downloads missing album art, shows additional information about the artist and the music that you are listening and also includes a full podcast client. It's like a fully featured podcast app within this music app. And there's also a cast option for people with Chromecast and also a full fledged video player. So overall it tries to be the only one media player for you and it does a good job in being that. So do try this one. So that's all about this video guys. I hope you have found some great apps this time and do subscribe if you haven't already for great customization and gaming videos. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.